right, so here he is out of the blue corner, the number one heavyweight contender fighting for the title here tonight. Daniel Cormier has eight championship belts at home. Do you remember, though, the nerves for your first UFC title? Fight? It's the most overwhelming thing you've ever <laughs> felt in your entire life. You are sitting in the back waiting for that moment where you get an opportunity to go chase something greater than yourself. So many people have played a part in getting this man to this spot. How does he deliver? How does he not let anyone down? How does he ultimately become the champion of the world? This is a big spot for him. He is so excited to try and become the man. Well, self-belief is a powerful thing. He has long thought that he is the best heavyweight in the world. Tonight, he gets a chance to prove it. So here he is, one of the consensus greatest of all time, the newly minted UFC heavyweight champion, John Bones Jones. And I think by and large, this sport is better when he is in it. Tonight, he tries to successfully defend his UFC heavyweight title. Yeah, John Jones at heavyweight is something that we have waited for for a really long time. And to say that he delivered would be a massive understatement as he won the fight in the way that he did. John Jones, once again, building on such a strong legacy. Few guys relish fight night as much as John Jones. You see him grinning ear to ear as soon as he hits the tunnel. We'll see how it goes in title defense number one. John Jones, ready to make the statement here tonight. Our tail of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. All right, to get us started with the official introductions, here is Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Tom Espinal! And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, John Bones Jones! All right, Herb Dean, third man in the octagon fight. for this one. Ready. So here he is, the youngest champion in UFC history. Another massive spot for Johnny Bones Jones. We'll see how he approaches the early going here. Nice mix of knockouts and submissions. Hard to find any sort of weakness thus far in the UFC career of one of the greatest of all time. Jones takes the center of the octagon. Ooh, looking to go to the leg kick here, just out of range. You'll work with that jab, jab there. Edge of your seat action as expected thus far. What a fight, my goodness, what a fight. Now we're going. gets tattooed by that straight punch. He closes the distance beautifully. He's got a single collar tie. All right now they separate. All right, no surprise to see Johnny Bones Jones open with some of those long-range weapons and finding some early success in this one. That's exactly what he does. He throws the front kick to the leg, and he throws those lead kicks to the body. He's long, he's 6'4 for the weight class, and he has learned it masterfully how to fight with his height and his range. All those long-range weapons 
or John Jones is called apart. Beautiful job staying that range and dictating the fight, landing punches like that. Slips that left hand. Nice shot, lands downstairs. Oh, strike lands cleanly there, champ. Beautiful body kick. So 33 total strikes have landed for Johnny Bones Jones. Oh, and he lands another leg kick there. He's already landed several in this round, and the damage is really starting to take its toll. Yeah, it's really starting to take its toll, and you watch the opponent he's walking. Oh, he jumped guillotine right away. Oh, that guillotine choke is tight. Oh, he escapes. He got out. I mean, wow, that is great submission defense. Working from the top here. Pretty good grounded pound here by Aspinall. They stay aware and stay safe defensively. Well, any time you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Aspinall. Again, not much defense there. Another ground strike gets through. In the half guard. Continues to apply pressure here in half guard. Oh, that looks tight. Good job by the champ there. Sliding back up. Oh, crowd just loving it as the fighters, after an extended grappling battle, make their way back to the field. Yeah, they're back on their feet. They spent a lot of energy on the ground. Well, these guys are going back and forth on the ground, and ultimately, he's gotten back to his feet to give himself an opportunity. All right, late round action here, and we know John Jones is a five-tool player, but at least tonight it has been about the striking, and he has been sharp. Oh, nice double leg, yes. Jones gets up. He is back on the feet here. All right, so now we start to see some bruising appearing on the torso, and all of that courtesy of the body work of his opponent. Just the, the wherewithal to go to the body and the discipline to stay with that approach. I mean... It's just tremendous. You, you see a fighter with a high fight IQ following a game plan, and it's working. Certainly showing off some good hands here tonight. What a beautiful leg kick that landed there. Right back on those leg kicks. Gitty jump. Yep, that Gitty's deep. He's really working hard for his guillotine, but he can't pull out his arms. He's got to make sure it's secure if he's going to go 100% to try to get this finish. A lot of takedown defense, or sorry, submission defense is just being calm and patient. Oh, he's out! That elbow was meant to end the fight. That's why he got such great posture. He's got to start throwing now. Final seconds here in round one. Oh, compromising spot here. Triangle choke is locked in. Also, how about that position over submission as he bails on the set? I think that's a great job. You've got to make sure you don't end up in a worse position because you're trying to score a submission. All right, so there's the end of the round. You know, few things more exciting in mixed martial arts than a submission, and he nearly had one there. He almost had it. He had it locked in. He thought the fight was over. But his opponent was able to escape. But the next time, if he goes back to that position, maybe he gets the finish he wants so bad. You ready to fight? Ready. Second Good. round here. Our right, next round is underway as our USC producer Laffy might say. A grappler's delight submission attempts on both sides. I mean, everybody that loves grappling is very excited after watching that round. Both fighters attempted multiple submissions. No one to this point has been able to get it. There's the kick. It's blocked. Oh, nice straight punch there by Aspinall. Look at that. Quick finish. That was beautiful. 
Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Oh, arm triangle. Arm triangle. Arm triangle. Oh, look out, folks. That is tight. It looks like it's getting going. Good job by the champ there. Slide back out. transition. All right, working inside the closed guard now. This is no safe place against this opponent. Really good job of landing these strikes from top position. All right, we'll see if he can apply pressure inside his opponent's guard here, DC. All right, so look at that. A cut has been opened around that eye area. He's taking shots over and over again to that area, and now he's dealing with a cut. Jones is back in full guard. Can't get it. Good awareness by the defensive fighter. Aspinall's in half guard. All right, so a grueling battle on the ground, and no surprise, the crowd pops in appreciation as the fighters work their way back to the This feet. is an educated crowd, J.A. They appreciate high-level grappling. That's exactly what they got in that exchange. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Under three minutes now to go in round two. Big knee. Look at the torso on the right side. Major bruising, and it's only getting worse. Just misses with a left hook there. Oh, nice. Aspinall gets hit by that kick to the midsection. You gotta do better defensively. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Jones' nose is bleeding now. Yes, looks as though he got cut by one of those offerings from his opponent. Two minutes. Nice kick. But he needs to check one of these kicks. He has to discourage him from throwing this kick over and over again. Jones is able to switch his stance here. We'll see how the defense responds. Beautiful jab lane. Circling to his right. Jones is blocking pretty well now. So an adjustment made by the fighter to protect that already significantly damaged nose. Got the single call. Aspinall's left calf starting to show signs of bruising. Pull to see if those left kicks. Nice jab there by Jones. Man, DC, his hands look good. A lot of volume, a lot of accuracy tonight. Beautiful strike there as he continues to attack that cut. Cut man's gonna have some work to do if we get to the stool between rounds. But that's why we got the best. Oh! Oh! Uppercut. Beautiful timing and placement to land the flying knee. All right, so an opportunity goes by the boards. He had him stunned, nearly finished, and now his opponent has recovered. His opponent recovered. Now he's got to go deal with everything that he's going to bring at him. He should have got the fight finished at that time. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Aspinall's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. All right, there's the horn. The round is over, but not before he was cut on his nose from the strikes in that round. Back to the stool. Cut man is in. Should be able to shut that cut and prevent it from becoming an issue moving forward. But, of course, as soon as he gets struck in that next round, it could open back up. All right, as they attend to the damaged fighter, we will re-rack some replays for you. A lot of damaging strikes landed by the opposition in that previous round. Well, him just not really paying attention on the defensive side has made his opponent look like an absolute world beater he's a good fighter 
but he has never looked this good. And that is Ready. that is partly Ready. because his opponent good. is not defending. Round three of a possible five. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Oh, he tags him with the straight hand there. Nice job by Aspinall. He does everything so well. And he's so calm. He's so calm in the face of such a big spot. Great kick to the body. started to open up wide now. It's starting to open up. It doesn't seem to be affecting him too bad right now. It's still bloody, but it's not really limiting his, his ability to continue. Let's see if he can get through this and win this fight. All right, half guard for him here, and a lot of offensive options, I would think, at his disposal. Oh, he's got a ton of options. He has submission options, but I believe the safest option for him here is going to be to use his ground and pound. Build a base, posture up, throw big strikes, get back in position, do a posture again, throw big strikes, and just really wear him down with a really secure position in half guard. Oh, he's got to be careful there, yep. That was a slick transition. Jones is back in full now. What a strike from off of his back. Well, working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Jones. Are working on the ground here, his opponent's feet on the hips. Jones ground and pound from half goal. All right, north-south position now. We'll see how he chooses to proceed. Lands the ground and pound strike. And we have passed the midpoint of the fight. I need you to use that last control. All right, side control now. Oh, he's got him in a crucifix now, DC. All of that body weight on his opponent. So he's got all the weight on the upper body. His feet are free to do whatever. But the arm stuck between the legs. He is now going to start dropping hammer fists. He's going to start dropping elbows. This is one of the nastiest positions in all of fighting. These are big shots, and they're not glancing blows. When he's throwing, he is landing so clean that his head is stunning off the mat. Well, this is absolutely the hurt business. It's hard to see which party is more injured, but I think both fighters have been really effective with their strikes in this one. Yeah, both guys have been affected. Both guys have been beat up. It's a very competitive fight. Let's see who has the heart to carry them through these very tough moments. 90 seconds to go. He gets hit with another massive ground and pound strike. He has got to protect this cut. Jones has got an arm. Looks like he's trying to lock up a Kimura. Looks like a pretty good attempt here. Oh, he's out of danger. Great submission defense. He's able to take his arm out and stay safe. And now he's got the back. Oh, he reverses the position. Trying to set up a choke here. Oh, he's in trouble. He might get a finish here. Chose a much worse position over giving up that submission. Good work from the top here by Espinal. Jones's eye appears to be closing up by the second. And now he's inside control. Well, he's in a compromising spot here, DC. You gotta figure out a way to get back to your feet. All big punches landing here. We'll see if he can work back to his feet. Final seconds of round three. Setting up 
for another submission now. Uh, oh, and uh, there's the horn at the end uh, of the round. How about this fight, folks? You see, he was nearly caught in a submission there right at the end of the round. Saved by the bell. So back to the stool. Mentally probably not in a great place here. We'll see if he can recover and get himself back into this fight. All right, let us get you some replays from the damage in that previous round. Perhaps we can even isolate the shot that opened the cup. I mean, just some big shots landed over the course of that round. And he wasn't responsible defensively. He was trying to tough out way too many situations. You can't do that when you're fighting a guy like this. If he doesn't change something, he's going to find himself in trouble. You ready to fight? Ready. Yeah. Fourth round. Fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. Fourth round is now underway as we get to the championship rounds. What is a fighter's mindset when you get to this 16th minute of the fight? This is when you understand that nothing is ever going to be harder. This is the hardest round of fighting. This is going to really test your will and your desire to become champion. Well, this is getting hard to watch, and sometimes you hear us say a fighter is too tough for their own good. Anybody want to save this athlete right now? Yeah, this is, this is a classic case of that. Oh! Barely missed on an uppercut right here to the inside. Oh, my God. Jones is really taking aim at that cut right now and hard to blame him, right? They might even call him the ringside physician. He is continuing to target that area. All right, so he continues to attack that area above the knee and digging right into that thigh. He's digging into the thigh. He's doing a great job of recognizing that that's something that he can land, and he has landed it effectively. That's how you do it. Beautiful kick by him. Espinal's cheek is just fauceting blood all over his face, all over the canvas. Like, where's the ringside physician? Maybe time to call on the doctor. I don't know. Beautiful body kick lands right under the elbow. Let's go, you can do this. Just over three minutes to go. Leg kick is there. Takedown, pretty good velocity on that one. Aspinall's in half goal. All right, feet on the hips here. Jones is back in full guard now. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. And that's, that's the danger in the engagement there. Swing and a big miss by Aspinall. What a fight. What a display of physical and mental toughness on both sides. I'm not sure who's more injured, but they're both hurt for sure. Yeah, John, they're both beat up. But I think that is the key. The mental is what's going to allow you to get your hand raised in this fight. This will not be easy. You're going to have to go to some dark places whenever you're in front of a guy that is as good as you in every aspect of fighting. Oh, nice job by him there to move into half guard. Not much resistance from the bottom fight. He's just too good in this position. Look for ground and pound immediately. Aspinall's looking to pass from full guard into half guard here, but he's denied. Oh, he's back up again. You gotta like that. He's praying blood now. Holy smokes. 90 seconds to go now. Aspinall gets hit with a kick. Leg kick lands. Both fighters starting to open up a little bit. Jones's nose is just pouring blood right now. I'm no doctor, Daniel, but I'm not sure that thing isn't broken right now. Fourth round here, less than a minute to go. All the hands are up, but the double jab gets through. Aspinall's an absolutely bloody mess right now.
cut man knows he's got his work cut out for him between rounds. Oh, there's the swing and there's the miss by Jones. Back to the feet. Twenty seconds left. Jones's nose is unrecognizable. It is mangled. It is cut open. I think it's probably broken at this point in time. Surgery next week, but now we'll see if mentally, physically, he can stay in this fight. To the body and it lands. Twenty down, five to go. All right, back to the stools now, and he is no longer the handsome man we once knew. That gash is getting serious. All right, there's the end of the round, and hopefully not the end of the fight. He doesn't look as handsome as he did when he walked out. That is a severe gash on his face. All right, let us re-rack some replays of the damage done in that round, see if we can isolate the strike that caused the cut. Yeah, a nasty cut opens up when he lands there. It's a beautiful shot that gets to the target. He has not been responsible defensively, and he's really paying for it. Ready because fight. now he's dealing Ready. with that nasty cut. Yeah. It is the fifth and final round. Oh, looks like that shot was blocked. The left hook lands on the counter. Back to the jab now, no good. These guys are looking all over each other. He loaded up there in that high kick. Big elbow there, Lance. Oh! And back to his feet. Oh, that was a really nice takedown. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. And there it is again. Targeting that swelling. Why would you not, right? You doled out all this damage. Might as, go, might as well go right back to it. Well, especially if your opponent is not going to move his head. He's still trying to go out on his shield. He's, he's so stubborn in trying to prove that he's tough. It's really costing him right now. The time of it there lands a nice take. He's doing a really good job putting himself in position. Jones gets up, he is back on the feet. Looked like he was in a submissive state on the ground, but he worked hard there to get back to the feet. Well, he is really seeing things well offensively here tonight, and he's caused a lot of swelling there on his opponent. You gotta address this now, because it's only going to get worse. Your opponent is not gonna let you, let you off the hook. You gotta move, you gotta change something to try to deter him from going to that spot. Oh! He's out! What? John Jones! That has got to feel good! What a performance! has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at 1 minute, 41 seconds of round number 5. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, John Bones Jones! Right, what a knockout for John Jones. Perhaps a bonus winning effort for him here tonight. Competitive matchup, at least on paper, but didn't play out that way tonight, DC. Well, Jones has shown and proves once again why he's so highly regarded in the history of the sport of mixed martial arts. He understands fighting at a level that not many do, and he shows by knocking this guy out, by getting the knockout victory that he wanted so badly.